In this video I'm going to introduce uh, conic sections. This is mainly meant to be an introduction to conic sections or actually a reintroduction for conic sections uh, for my math uh, 401 students or my calculus 2 students. However, if you're in pre-calculus or intermediate algebra and you have an instructor that's going through conic sections, you can use this as well uh, to introduce yourself to the idea of a conic section. The first question we're going to ask is really what is a conic section? And to help introduce this concept, I'm going to use a Wolfram uh, Mathematica demonstration. It's a free demonstration that you can get uh, by just Googling Mathematica demonstrations and uh, Wolfram Mathematica, which is a software program. Uh, Wolfram will come up and you can download for free a plugin that will allow you to play with some of this stuff uh, from that demonstration site. So here is the uh, demonstration I'm going to use it's if let me drag this down so you can see what the title of this is let me drag it down a little bit further when you download a Wolfram demonstration project application here you have full rights to play around with it you can't change the code in the background but you can always just play around with it to give better visualizations and I'm all about visualizations so conic sections really start from the fact that you have a cone that's why they are called conic sections and this is a double cone, a double inverted cone, basically a cone with a cone on top of it. And what we're doing is we're taking a sheet of paper, or what we call a plane, and slicing the cone by this plane. Now, what we're interested in is what this slice will result in uh, when we look at the picture top down. And if you look at this picture top down, you see that that slice, if I took it out, is just a circle. So therefore, it must be true that a circle, uh, if we're going to define conic sections as being slices of this cone, a circle is a conic section. And that was found just by taking the slice uh, parallel to the plane on which the, uh, the cones were standing upon. Now let's go ahead and play with this a little bit more. Go ahead and look at this on the side view again. Let me kind of adjust this. There we go. And instead, I'm just going to adjust this little slider here. It says the inclination level. I'm going to start sl sliding this plane a little bit. I get to this point right here. I'm just going to slide a little bit so we can see. Now I'm going to look at it top down and see what I get. Now, this still looks somewhat circular. Maybe I should uh, adjust the inclina inclination a little bit more so we can see. I'll adjust this. I'll scroll this down. There we go. And what you can see here is that our slice creates not a circle, but this is called an ellipse. Some people call it an oval, but it's actually called an ellipse, mathematical, the mathematical structure. Therefore, since we got this shape, that two-dimensional shape, by taking the slice out of the cone, an ellipse is also known as one of the conic sections. It is a conic section. So let's go ahead and play a little bit more with this. Um, let's go ahead and rotate this back to um, our starting position in a way here. And I'm going to adjust this slice even further. This time I'm going to slice it like, like this. Now I want to mention something before I continue. Notice that the original plane, and if I adjust this plane, notice it starts not at the actual point where these cones meet. It starts slightly above that point. Um, that's very important for creating conic sections. So that's how, let's say, here we get the circle, and if I start kind of rotating it, notice I'm I'm still keeping it uh, slightly above this point. So the, in other words, when I take the slice, I'm not cutting it right where the the points, the tips of these cones meet. So now, if I s slide a little bit more up to this point, say, now I'm going to look top down on it, and you see, oh interesting. I get a very popular mathematical shape from algebra that's called a parabola. Therefore a parabola must be a conic section as well. So we have three objects so far. Circles, ellipses, which are basically elongated circles, and then parabolas. So let's see if we can create another kind of object here. And I'll go ahead and again adjust this back. Do -do -do -do. All right, there we go. And I'll just go ahead and rotate this a little bit further, maybe to about here. 
let's just pretend. Now I'll t take a look at the top down, and if you look at this top down, it's kind of hard to see. Maybe I'll tilt it like this. If you look at that, oddly enough, we get two, it looks like two parabolas. They're actually not parabolas. These are, this object, this shape, this combined shape, would be called a hyperbola. It's this leftmost curve and the rightmost curve together all ca are called a hyperbola. Thus a hyperbola is a conic section as well. Now um, a couple things I should mention. A, herb a hyperbola, don't write it as a hyperbole. <laughs> That's a, a language structure uh, definition. Uh, a hyperbola is a mathematical structure. So again if you come back here um, and I go back to these, this double inverted cone, I can now just continue playing with this all day long. There's really not much that's going to change. In fact, if I do a straight slice, you see I get a couple lines. That does not mean that lines are conic sections, actually. This just this is a vertical slice. Um, and uh, this, this has something to do, uh, in a way, with the uh, hyperbola, but nothing that we need to concern ourselves with. And if you go the other way, so if you have these tilts go the other way, you get the same um, structures that we have been getting. Here's the hyperbola again. And in fact, side view, if I rotate it, you could see here's the hyperbola changing shape. So you can have a lot of different shapes to hyperbolas. But once that the angle, the slice, gets a little too steep, now you're just dealing with a parabola. And the steeper the slice gets, it becomes an ellipse all the way down to a circle. So circles to ellipses to parabolas to hyperbolas. Very well, that is uh, an introduction to what a conic section is. What we're going to do in the next video is talk about the equations of these objects. You may think that you know the equation of, let's say, a parabola, but there's actually some very specific information we need to build the equation of a parabola um, in a, in a rigorous uh, way. And the same thing for an ellipse and a circle and a hyperbola. Actually circles we, we kind of already know, but the ellipses and the hyperbolas are, are very important. So we'll deal with those in the, in the next videos.